Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are right where we left off. Welcome back to the Expanse. We are looking for this man's partner here and I'm going to talk to Maya. Maybe she knows something about it. I wouldn't have made it through that firefight without Maya. This man worked for whoever made the MK Core. So where's his partner? Okay, that didn't help as much as I was hoping it was going to. Let's uh, let's have a look around. Maybe if we go into zero grav. Down here, maybe? Oh. If I was a pirate, where would I hide my friend's body? I mean, in a coffin is the most logical place. But, hello, what's this? Death records. Oops, that's, that was the wrong one. Mission log, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, okay. Nothing recent. The station's population started out strong, but heavy casualties began occurring after a few years. With no new influxes of settlers and a dwindling population, the group must have known their community was doomed, long before the last one died out. No one has an easy existence in the belt, but these people didn't even have the hope that their future generations would build a better life for themselves. It seems to have caused some sort of station-wide mental breakdown. Yeah, no, that seems pretty fair, doesn't it? Far though. Do not see anything helpful. Right, uh... Oh, good lord. Of course, it's possible that the Inners came and cleaned it up. That... Would that be what's happening here? It's not like I can look at every single one of these, and I feel like I'm missing something. Can I... Can I write... In a second, I use my thumbstick. Can it drive me in the right locate direction? I can. Can indeed. Oh, I'm stuck. Maybe I'm overthinking this, and there's just a door here, huh? Yeah, no, that's probably <laughs> that's probably the way to go. Who saw that coming? A plaque. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie with the goat, and the children will lead them unto salvation. Future Traveller, we lay our beloved children before you. If you be healer, heal. If you be miracle worker, work. If you be passer through, pass through and go in peace. Cassapia Collective. Oh God, the first ones, they're all children. It's a children's tomb. Oh, great. They buried their children here first. Couldn't bear the thought of recycling them. Then they couldn't bear the thought of being separated from them either. So here they are. Here they are. So these people stole the core and ran here. And they hid their prize. In a fucking children's tomb. Amazing. How this keeps just getting more and more twisted, huh? Alright, well let's look at the map. Tomb of the Unburied. This coffin stands in memory of the first children lost to the illness that ravaged our station. Their bodies were tragically recycled before our minds were awakened 
to our greater purpose. Although they are lost, we hold them in our hearts forever. I guess it makes sense they recycled them at first. Symbols on the walls. Oh god, it's just creepy. Can I go down here? This looks blocked off. I'm going to say it looks like there's something here. Stasis monitor. Are they not all dead? The inhabitants of this station were talented engineers. When they gave up on mining minerals, they turned their attention to creating coffins. They did a strangely beautiful job solving the issue of long-term body storage. These corpses should stick around until, well, hopefully, until they get their wish. This. Coffin? Some of the first children born in the belt, and this is the fate they suffered. They were abandoned, but at least they weren't forgotten. Here. What do you think happened? Let's find out. I'm going to assume he got shot. Guess they stashed it before they had their fight. It's not in here. Oh, either that or somebody took it. Uh. Tablet? Confidential, do not duplicate? All individuals handling this information are required to protect it from unauthorized disclosure. Handling, storage, reproduction, and disposition of the attached document must be in accordance with applicable regulations. Designation the MK Core. Lab 27. BB Station. Singular Cellular Testing Lead Research Dr. Ray Abstract It's clear that the sample is encoded with instructions and that those instructions are unknown, perhaps unknowable. Exposure to human biomass seems to activate it, although exposure to other replication mechanisms have proven effective as well. Most attempts to break down the sample's molecular bonds, exposure to solvents, disinfectants, and freezing temperatures, have failed. Exposure to extreme high heat has shown some efficacy. Uh, experiment 1, cellular exposure. Experiment 2, cellular wall degeneration. Experiment 3, cellular replication. Experiment was terminated early when replication continued outside of expected parameters. Experiment 107B. Test subjects. Belter. Unknown origin. Duration of infection, four to six days. Results. Fatal. Human testing. Dr. Strickland. The sample is highly transmissible, and with proper exposure, maintains a 100% infection rate. A greater amount of biomass is needed in order to further understand the sample's encoded instructions. Experiment 1. Subject was exposed to the sample via cotton swab. Symptoms began within three hours. Subject was moved to exam room 4. Experiment 2. Subjects were exposed to the sample via cotton swab, then immediately put through decontamination procedures. Subject showed no symptoms. Immediate decontamination may be effective in the event of accidental exposure to staff. Experiment 3. Subjects were housed in exam room 4, with subject number 1. Transmission began within hours. Subjects complained of disorientation, fever, and vomiting. After four days, chest and stomach pain were the primary symptoms, and subjects showed a pronounced aversion to the station's overhead lighting. Hibernation ensued shortly thereafter. Is this the proto-molecule? This is getting very strange. 
And there's a picture. The MK core isn't a treasure. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon? I don't know. Something alive. And fucking dangerous. Let's have a look at the hand terminal. 10th of August. I commence this diary for the benefit of future histories. I believe we are embarking on a biomedical revolution. Rivaled only by the advents of synthetic nitrogen and CRISPR. Non Sibi said omnibus. 11th of August. I know this is the discovery of a millennia, but some of my fellow researchers have lost the plot. All they want to do is scale up for testing. Idiots. We have the potential to eradicate cancer, reverse cellular decay, bolster immunity against all infections. Must keep our focus. 22nd of August. The situation has grown tenuous. Dresden appears to have lost all sense of process and propriety. Rumour is that he is pushing a cognition enhancement modifier on junior researchers as a means of advancement. If he tries that shit on me, he'll find the enhancement of his ass. 2nd of September. Asked Strickland what he knows about the other teams here. No response. I know we're not the only ones on this project. What research are they hiding? Would they be insane enough to develop it as a weapon? The data are clear. This thing can teach us so much about biology, but it isn't ours to control. 27th of September. Dresden wants to talk about human testing now. What the fuck? Can't even begin to account for the ethical dumpster fire that presents at this stage. Maybe that's why he's busy with his enhancement lobotomies. 28th of September. The lab is being shut down. Resources to be transferred to other projects. But what horrors I can only imagine. How to respond. The 1st of October. My credentials got me into the lab one last time. I took the call. I saw some of Strickland's new project, too. Dear God, those people. I bribed a guard, Mattix, to smuggle out the core and get us off Phoebe. My contact at the UNN promises to set me up with a new research team somewhere no one can find us. 9th of October. Mattix's buddy dropped us off at an abandoned settlement. We were supposed to rendezvous with the UNN Ushinabi days ago. No messages. No response. What was I thinking? If the UNN can't handle this, there's nowhere safe. It must be destroyed. Mattix might protest, but I will convince him. He's a simple man, but not impervious to reason. Just need to find a furnace that burns hot enough. Looks like this scientist contacted the UNN, and they sent over the Urshanabi. But they weren't able to stop the word from leaking out. So they stole the MK core and brought it here. But then our security guard turned on his partner and shot her? Seems right. And then finally, the recorder. I have compiled evidence to show why this substance presents such a novel set of risks. I now truly believe we may be looking at an eschatological event. I thought I could deliver this sample to the right hands and develop an antidote, but I underestimated many things. All that matters is that I destroy the sample and pray the same will be done to the rest of this cursed substance. Okay, we can leave. So the MK core is some kind of organism? I don't know. And neither do the scientists studying it. And yet this company is pouring endless amounts of money into it. They're willing to kill to keep it secret, and now they're running human tests. Not humans. Belters. Hmm. They were disposable. They don't even think of Belters as human. Fucking Inners. They found a weapon they didn't understand, and they brought it out here to play with. That's horrible. It's nothing new. Just like Anderson Station, the Le Guin, even these people, left out here to die. Just another chapter in the story. Got something. Red 
Ready? We found it. And now we're going to destroy it. We'll reach full burn in about a minute. What are you going to tell the others? Hmm. What am I going to tell the others? It's too dangerous or we have to protect the bell? It's just too dangerous. That we didn't have a choice. We can't sell a weapon like this, no matter how much money is involved. Kamina, we do have a choice. Hear me out. Whatever this is, it could still be everything you need to help the belt. What if we kept it? As a weapon? Or as a bargaining chip? Call it what you want, but no one would mess with the OPA if they knew- The OPA doesn't work that way. It's a hundred factions with a thousand goals. The OPA would tear itself apart over something like this. Why are you so sure of that? You're talking like an inner. I'm talking like someone who knows the OPA. Who knows men like Doss and what they do to stay in power. But the belt may never get a chance like this again. You can't just take that away. You don't get it. You may have bounced around in Zero-G for a while, but you don't understand the belt. Hey! What don't I understand? Hmm, belters prepare for the worst, or belters don't lie to themselves? Uh, we prepare for the worst. Belters always look for danger. Broken air filters, leaky reactors, anything that could mean danger. And this... It's a disaster waiting to happen. Think about it. Not like a Martian, but like a Belter. From everything you've seen out here so far. How do you think this really ends for us? Fuck. You're right. Let's do what we have to do. See, Baratna, told you we couldn't trust her. Oh, God. Hand it over. Now. And that? Arlen, listen to me. Uh, it's a death sentence? Could hurt the belt? This is the best option here. How would it could hurt the belt? That is a dangerous weapon. It's already being used by inners against the belt. That's why I'm gonna sell it to a belter, Sasuke. 
We're headed back to Ceres now. Damn it, Arlen, you don't understand what you're doing. You always think you know better than everyone else. That's how you always end up here, yeah? I don't know what the fuck your plan is, but you can't just take over the ship and throw Drummer in the brig. No brig. Airlock. What do you mean? Just got to head back to Ceres and- Tincha! How long is the trip to Ceres? Huh? Two weeks? Three? You want to stay awake the whole time? Until we sell this thing, she'll be trying to take her back. Stubber or voila. Never knows when she's lost. Oh my god. No, there has to be another way. As long as she's on board, it's still her ship. You think Maya and Virgil will take orders from us while she's around? Even the fucking pilot likes her. No. It's the only way to finish this. Take her to the airlock. Trust him, fight him, trust him. Oh god. I gotta trust him. Oh, but I didn't get him his I think it's because I didn't get him his drugs, isn't it? That's all this is all boiling down to. Um you know what? I trust him. I think if I fight him something he'll shoot me. Alright. Really hope I'm not about to be spaced. I'm sorry, Cap. For real. I wish I could stop Arlen. <laughs> let me stop him. Then let me. Give me the gun. But Ratna's the only reason I'm alive. The only reason I got off Vesta. I'm starting to regret trusting him. Oh, can you give me a helmet? I can't let you hurt him, but I won't watch you die either. from your girlfriend, can you? You son of a bitch, let me go! What did you do? Sabaka nearly bit my ear off. Would have clawed my eyes out next. Wait, she isn't a part of this. Put it on. We can make it to the station and send a distress signal. Hurry, I'm the one with the bullet in me. You take it. You'll be fine, we both will. I can't. Stop. Let you die? We don't have time and I won't let you die. I said I would do anything to help the belt and nobody can do more for the belt than you. Come on. 
Come on, come on. No! Come on. Maya, please. Oh, Maya. Oh, Maya. Well, that was horrifying. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> oh no. Well, let's see how we did and hopefully I don't get content struck for the bloody Expanse theme. Which is what happened last, last episode. <laughs> well, the episode before the last one. Okay, talk about last night. 60% of people spoke to Maya. 9% uh, nine, 9 related for Maya's prank. 83% said you'd be lucky to have Maya. That it was beautiful. 59% prepare for the worst. 86% trusted. I think I should have fought him, eh? Maya's fate. Ah, oh, she remains on the Artemis if you... F maybe if you fight Rayan? Oh, that's brutal to know. But either way, I'm going to be ending the episode here. So thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always... I'll see you next time.